Now on this particular template, the squares are a little bit different. So this is template two. Your template might look a little bit different. But if you come to one like this, for example, you might have a hard time figuring out where that pink square comes from. So when you go to background, you'll notice that there's no background color here. So how can I change it? Because if I put anything here, it doesn't change here. What's going on? Well, if you'll notice, this has two columns. So this is part of column one. So column one here on the left, column two where the text is. And if you'll notice, this has a really slight gradient on it. So we could change that gradient. We could make it a radial gradient. And we can even change the gradient. So if you notice as I'm, let me pull this over a little bit more, as I slide the gradient degrees here, then the gradient on my background changes. And you can even change where that gradient starts from where that gradient ends. So you can fully customize how harsh you want this gradient to be. Now another cool thing is you can stack. So let's put a background image in here. Oh my gosh, we just lost the gradient. That's <laughs> okay. Let's click back over on the gradient, scroll down, and put the gradient above the image. But now we can't see the image. So let's click back on that gradient and using this right slider, we're just going to lower the opacity on these colors. And now we've got just a beautiful gradient placed over that background image. And of course, to change the image, just hit the cogwheel, click on the image, and select something from your media library or upload a new photo into your media library. Same thing over here with text. But now what we have is a button. So let's change that button. We're going to click on modules. You can change the button text here. But let's change the color. Well, let's put a link onto that button so that way it goes all the way through. Now let's change the design of the button. Let's say I want my button on the right. And maybe I want my text to be dark or light, but we're going to use custom styles. So if I didn't use custom styles, you can either do light or dark. But we want to use custom styles because we want that button to be really pretty. We can make the text a little bit bigger, but that looks out of place. We can change our button text color. Let's make it pink. And now let's change the button background. And you may put a border on your button and make that border a little bit bigger. And then if you slide the radius, you'll notice that the button starts to curve. We can spread our wording out a little bit, change the button fonts, weights. We can pop an icon on that button so that way when we hover over it, the icon pops up. Basically, you can change absolutely everything. Show the icon all the time, only when it hovers. So some of this you're just going to have to play with on your own to find out all of the options for you. But hopefully this is giving you a pretty good idea. So see, even here um, I can change my box shadow on here. I mean, that's pretty cool to put it inside, kind of modern and I can change where that shadow comes on my button. I can change the color under my button. I mean, how cool 
is all of this. It's really, like I said, ultimately just 100% customizable for you.